There is a lot of talk tonight about this video of a Wake County school teacher punched by a student last week on campus. Green Hope High School sending a letter home to parents saying the student was disciplined and that the teacher is back at school. But this incident comes as nationwide. There's been an uptick in violence against teachers really since the start of the pandemic. Cindy Bay live over at Green Hope High tonight. She's got the big takeaways, Cindy. Yeah, Joel, and this is shocking to the Green Hope High School community. The video that's now circulating on social media demonstrating several ongoing issues that both educators and students face. The issues more heightened since the pandemic. I was shocked. This is the video that prompted Green Hope High in Cary to send a letter to parents. A student hit a teacher so hard he fell to the ground. I didn't really know how to feel. Um, I was actually in a class with the kid um, last year and he didn't really seem like the kind of kid to do that. The principal calling the student's behavior unacceptable and advising parents disciplinary action was taken. The teacher who was hurt is now back at school. It was really sad because this was supposed to be his last semester and now he's going through this. Nationwide, there's been an uptick in physical violence from students. The American Psychological Association surveyed teachers last year and found a third of them had experienced at least one incident of verbal and or threatening violence from students during COVID. School staff experiencing the most of it. We know that some of that does stem from the educator shortage that we are seeing in our buildings because we do not have enough physical adults in the building to monitor uh, what is happening with our students. Mental health experts say the pandemic is also affecting student behavior. Much more anxiety, depression, more irritability, less patience. And that's not just with young people, but adults as well. It takes a community effort uh, to sustain supports for not only students in the classroom, but for educators as well. And so having those conversations with all of our stakeholders at the table. Social media is also a concern as it's more used by young people. The president of the National Education Association warns that dangerous trends and violent videos are helping create a culture of fear and violence with educators as targets. Reporting in Cary, Cindy Bay, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.